Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I want to talk about FreeSync. I'm sure we've all seen the situation in a high resolution game where the image starts tearing or there's a stuttering effect which is quite distracting to gameplay. This is usually because the data rate coming from the graphics card isn't sufficient to keep up with the refresh rate of the monitor. There is a technique called VSync where the monitor refresh rate is locked to a particular frequency and then the graphics card has to keep up with that frequency. But even then, you need a pretty high performance graphics card to operate at the higher refresh rates. So now there's an alternative approach which solves this problem. In the latest specification of DisplayPort, DisplayPort 1.2a, it supports something called adaptive sync. That means that the monitor is allowed to dynamically change its refresh rate. So that's how FreeSync works. By matching the data rate from the graphics card to the refresh rate of the monitor, which is allowed to change dynamically, everything runs smoothly and perfectly with no tearing and no stuttering. All you need to have is the latest generation of graphics cards based on AMD technology, a FreeSync compatible driver and a FreeSync compatible monitor, and they're all available now. So let's take a look at a very simple demo of how effective FreeSync can be. Uh, we've got a simple animation of a windmill here and you can probably see on the screen already that um, there's a tearing effect going on along the straight edges of the blades of the windmill. Um, if we actually animate the scene as well so that uh, there's movement, you can see that effect becomes even more pronounced as the data finds it difficult to keep up with the refresh rates of the screen and we get a very serious tearing effect across the blades. So if we turn FreeSync on, what will happen now is that the refresh rate of the monitor will synchronize with the data rate that the graphics card can deliver and we get rid of the tearing and we get a totally smooth operation, totally smooth scrolling of the blades and the image. So we can give a more violent demonstration of that by just using a very simple red bar going across the screen. And it's very clear to see here that the, uh, the tearing is happening several times across the image um, as you go down the screen. And again, if we turn on FreeSync, the tearing completely disappears and the image is running smoothly. Now you could use VSync to synchronize, uh, but if you do that, then the refresh rate of the monitor is fixed. And if the data can't keep up with that refresh rate of the monitor, then you get a juddering effect, which could be like a serious stuttering in a game situation. So FreeSync is much more effective than just using VSync in that because it's dynamically changing the refresh rate of the monitor, you get a totally smooth stutter-free image.